I'm feeling really well. I wanted to say thank you. And I'm so blessed and so grateful. I love you guys. I cannot say thank you enough. And thank you for everything. Such an amazing family. I've been so supported. I just came here to give you guys so much love. And thank you for believing in me. Love you. I mean it. Hi there. Thanks for watching Bling Buzz. It's time for another amazing video. Things you didn't know about Nightbird. Jane Marchewski, who uses the stage name Nightbird, was born on December 31, 1990 in Zanesville, Ohio. Nightbird is a name that quickly sold into our hearts earlier this summer when she offered a powerful addition during America's Got Talent that earned her a golden buzzer from Judge Simon Cowell. She may not have been able to progress further on America's Got Talent, but she is continuing to capture the attention and hearts of fans everywhere. That's enough for the background info. So let's dive into the things you didn't know about her. Jane was raised in Zanesville, Ohio, where she attended a Christian school and church. She has five brothers and a sister named Caitlin. She began pursuing music as a student at Liberty University, the private evangelical Christian university in Lynchburg, Virginia. Before graduating in 2013, she led worship at her church, performed at venues around the Lynchburg area, and was a favorite at Liberty's Binual Coffee House, according to an article in the school's Liberty Journal. After getting married, she moved to Nashville and was ready to begin performing again when she was first diagnosed with terminal cancer on New Year's Eve in 2019. At my worst, I was given three to six months to live and a 2% chance of survival. On top of all that, I then realized my marriage is ending. The next thing I know, I'm going through a divorce while fighting this disease. Marchewski since has been diagnosed with a cancer a third time, sharing on America's Got Talent that it's in her lungs, spine and liver. She frequently makes blog posts about her life and struggles with cancer and said she originally wanted to be an author. Jane did get married to a fellow musician Jeremy Claudio back in 2015. Eight months after they met, Jane and Claudio had a lovely intimate wedding in an old building from the 1920s in New York, Ohio. But the couple separated in 2019. I had imagined that I would walk into the courtroom like Jennifer Lopez in some girl power movie. I would stand with square shoulders and sharp eyes, dignified and articulate and lovely. But the truth is I could barely stand at all. He shook his head and looked past me. I heard him say our marriage was ending. I heard myself say, but I still love you. She shared in her blog that she got into this marriage against the advice of her whole family. Jane thinks her stage name Nightbird carries a message of hope. She told the Liberty Journal she chose the name because she dreamt about birds singing in darkness for three straight nights. She made her debut in 2018 with the authorical single Girl in a Bubble, pop track, light, fun and influenced by the 80s. The release came shortly after Jane beat cancer for the first time. Her other singles are Ocean and Sky 2013, New Year's Eve 2020 and Brave 2021. She sang an original song called It's OK in AGT and since then has taken the internet by storm with her audition reaching 30 million plus views in 3 days. On June 10, It's OK reached the top of the all-genre singles chart on iTunes. The singer-songwriter also recently celebrated a big milestone in her life and career when she revealed that her audition song It's OK had turned one year old. You can call Jane a bookworm because she loves to read a lot. She prefers to read books of American poet Mary Oliver, Ellen Bass, Sarah Kay, Dilruba Ahmed, and English writer and poet J.R.R. Tolkien. Her favorite movies are The Wizard of Oz 1939 and George Bailey's It's a Wonderful Life 1946. She also admires Black Panther's Chandwick Boseman, who died of colon cancer. So while she may not be okay in every way, she said, It's important that everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that happened to me. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Terry is right. She's the voice that we all need this year. You can support Nightbird by donating to her GoFundMe to help fund her medical treatments or purchasing merch on her website store. 
all right so there we have it something a little bit different from us make sure to go and check out our merch on teespring and redbubble and yeah we hope to create great content in the future with your support thanks for watching feel free to subscribe and ring the bell icon